Hello everybody, I'm back and apologize for neglecting this channel. I've left some of you in the dark and I've tried to reply to all my messages and help you guys out in, in text form when, where I can. Uh, but again, I've been getting a lot of, of the same kinds of questions which prompts me to make a video. Uh, and this one was originally sent to me by Old Baby Boy who asked me the question, how do I speed up or slow down clips in, in Final Cut? It's very easy to do, I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, just follow me along. Now this is a clip that I was making for my other channel where I just sat down and just filmed a clock for an hour because I wanted to speed this footage up and, and, and give the effect that this clock is moving very quickly through time. Um, so yeah, I, I want to reverse that as well. I'll show you how to do that as well. Now, all you do to either slow down or speed up your clip is to click on the actual clip in the timeline here. Hold down the control key so your contextual menu comes up like that. And uh, select speed. Now in here we've got, we can either change the duration here numerically, just manually, uh, or the easier way, just um, add to the percent. So if I wanted to make it twice the speed, for example, I would I would type in 200 percent and so on. In this case I want to really drastically increase the speed of the clip. So you kind of just work it out mathematically. I wanted about 30 seconds or so, so I'm going to put about 8,000 percent there and uh, we'll do that. If I wanted to slow it down, I would just go lower than 150 percent, would slow it down to half the speed and you get the idea. Anyway, if I want to reverse the clip, I would just click that, check that box there, obviously. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And you'll see the little red bar wants me to render this action that I've just taken, so I, I will do that. And click Render All. And we'll fast forward time for a moment. And here we are at some point slightly in the future where I've rendered this clip. And as you can see, that sped up the clip in the desired way. And if I didn't like this, I would just do it again with a different number. Um, but it is always best to save yourself render time, just to, to do, do a little bit of mathematics and uh, figure out the percentage of speed you'd like to increase or decrease before you actually do it. Pretty simple, and I hope it helps some of you guys out who have been asking me this question. Catch you guys later.